In this video, we will understand strategies to sketch the graph of a line when the equation is given to us in slope and intercept form. We have five examples for you. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We'll try to understand how do we sketch graph of a line when the equation is given in slope and intercept form. Here, in the very first example, which is question 25 from our series having 60 questions, we have y equals to 2x plus 1. Let's try to understand the equation itself. Here, 2 is the slope. Slope, normally written as m, which is change in y over change in x, right? So we are considering equation of a line y equals to mx plus b, perfect. And this one is the y-intercept. y-intercept is the value when x is 0, right? So at this point, x is equal to 0. So we'll sketch from the given information as we see here we know that m is equal to 2 and the y-intercept b is equal to 1. So let us begin with y-intercept which is 1. So that is the first point to be marked, right? So begin with y-intercept and now consider the slope of 2. So slope m of 2 really means we have what? So when I say m equals to 2, you can say rise over run, correct? So 2 can be considered as 2 over 1. So you could go up by 2 units and then 1 unit to the right, getting a point. You get the idea. So this slope, which is rise over run, helps you get more points. Now again, you can go 2 up and 1 right. So you get another point. You see, all these points fall in a line. Connecting them, we get a straight line. And that is how we are going to sketch the line. So we just connect these points. You see the idea? And you get a straight line, right? So the slope of 2 helps us to get more points, right? You could also go left and then 2 down, right? You could do that. So at present, we will connect these points which we have to sketch the graph and the line will be as shown here. You see that. So that is how we are going to sketch the line. So steps are first step, right? Get to y-intercept. So this is your first step. So y-intercept. And then step two is slope m which in this case is 2. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Perfect. Now let's take up the next example where we have y equals to minus 3x plus 5. Now how should you sketch it? So as I said, step number 1 is plot y-intercept. In this case, y-intercept, which is the b value, is 5, right? We are considering line in the form y equals to mx plus b. So, which is 5, so we'll mark 5 here, right? Do you see that? Now, let's consider the slope. Slope m is rise over run, right? And in this case, it is minus 3. It basically means you could either go down 3, 1 right, or you could go up 3, 1 left. Both give you minus 3. You understand? So in this case, since there is not much room going up, we'll actually go down 3 and 1 right. So let's go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1 right, and we get a point. Do you see that? So connecting these two, we do get a straight line. Let's continue, getting more points like this. Down 3, 1 right. So that gives us the slope of minus 3. Now connecting these points, 
should give us the line which is the required line do you see that so that's how we are going to sketch the line so whenever the question is to sketch a line you could get three points like this and then connect them to sketch well in the test you definitely have a ruler to draw a proper line perfect now let's move on and take the next question in this case the equation is y equals to minus 5 by 2x plus 4 so can you now pause the video and answer this particular question rather plot this sketch of a line okay 4 is the y intercept so first take care of the y intercept and now the slope right so so b equals to 4 which we have already identified and now look at the slope which is minus 5 over 2 so you can go down 5 units and 2 right right so 1 2 3 4 and 5 down and 2 units right gives us the next point you see that we can further go down 5 units 1 2 3 4 5 and 2 right gives us the second point so we have three points which can now be connected and a line can be drawn, right? So that is how we could actually sketch the line, right? So I hope you have understood how using these two steps you can always sketch a line very easily, right? Let's take up more examples. Three more to go. So we have y equals to minus 4 over 3x minus 3 this time so how should you do it well clearly start at minus 3 the y intercept and look at the slope m which is minus 4 over 3 well minus 4 over 3 is similar to 4 over minus 3 right so both can be adopted so let's try to do 4 over minus 3 which really means we have a rise of 4 right and run of 3 minus that means we'll go up by 4 1 2 3 4 and then 3 left 1 2 3 you see that so that's where you are you can again go 4 up right 1 2 3 4 and 3 left 1 2 3 so you get these three points which need to be connected with a straight line to form the to draw the given line right so we can now sketch it as you can see that is how we have to sketch a line is that clear to you perfect so now we have another equation for you which is y equals to 4 by 5x now what is the y intercept in this case well y intercept in this case is at 0 right because if x equals to 0, y is also equal to 0. So we'll mark 0 as one of our critical points. Now what is the slope? m, the gradient, is 4 over 5. Means you go 4 up and 5 right, right? So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, correct? So you have that point now connected to draw the given line, right? So we have this line perfect that is how you could do it well you can check your line by going five down and five left right four four down one two three four down and five left one two three four and five do you see that it works so it is same as minus four over minus five correct perfect so now here is the last one for you the equation is slightly different to look at. It is y equals to 3. How will you sketch this line? Well, in this case, slope m is really 0. y equals to 3 is also the y-intercept, and a slope of 0 means the line is not rising, nor is it falling. It is a horizontal line, correct? And it can be sketched as shown here. Is that clear to you? That is how you are going to sketch this line. So as you can see in this particular video, we have seen how do we sketch a line. So the first line had a positive gradient of 2 
it is rising from left to right. We started with the y-intercept and because 2 is the slope, we went up 2 and right, right 1. And the next line, the gradient is negative 3. The line is falling. So it's kind of important to understand how do we also relate our equation with the given line. And in the last example, we have a horizontal line since y value is constant and it is equal to 3 for any x value. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.